everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Watcher of Realms. For today's video, I'm gonna talk about summoning the calendar coming up. Should you summon? When should you summon? Um, how do these events affect each other? Let's talk about it. The finest blood for the most untainted soul. All right, so I always try to do some sort of a calendar update when, as far as helping people decide should they summon or not, whenever there's multiple things going on, whether that be a shard summon fusion type event along with summoning, or there's two types of events happening, I want to make sure there's no confusion. I'm very often posted uh summons or talked about doing live streams when there's like a two times event and an ancient event and people are like why are you summoning on friday you gotta wait till saturday not even realizing that those are two completely separate things plus there is the discussion now of there's a shard summoning event and there is of course a summoning event um i wish they would just call these fusions like raid <laughs> and i think awaken chaos era uh, but yeah, and does that mean you have to summon this weekend? Can you save your summons for next weekend? Like, what are the what are the factors going into those decisions? So that's what I'm going to talk about now. So first of all, let's talk about new players, brand new players. If you just started this week, last week, maybe even three weeks ago, and you're not stocked full of heroes to where you have plenty of options to work on and you don't even have enough resources to build them i mean you should just be summoning every friday yes saving monday through thursday is smart once you get past that first week or maybe two at most so that way you're able to take advantage of the events that go along with it like spiritual altar where you can get really good prizes along the way but I, there's no reason to wait, whether it's a two times, a ten times, very early, just pull your summons on whatever event is happening that weekend. Uh, you just need options. And honestly, the two times events in this game are not as like only pull during two times if you're a new player. I don't agree with that. Um, because personally, I've seen it and I experience it. Where you can get just as lucky during a 10 times event or just as unlucky during a 2 times event. 2 times chances to get a legendary from a rare crystal are still only 1% chance. And just because that means um, an average of 1 in 100, you still could have to hit the 200 pity. There's no guarantee. So I personally prefer to pull during 10 times events, which is why I'm not going to pull this weekend. Um, well, I might. I should say, I might pull my Divines. Now, Divine Summoning, uh, if you get the Legendary Summoning Crystals, I think everybody's best time to pull those is not during a 10 times for the Fancy Heroes. Actually, this is the best time to pull for your 2 times events because it's from 6% chance to a 12% chance to get a Legendary Hero. And... With the divine summoning that also means it's 0.8 percent chance to get a legendary lord which is the same during a two times which is the same as the chances to get a legendary lord during ancient summoning events which are special events for legendary lords so if the rates are the same i think it's the best time to pull for legendary crystals but for your blue crystals the invocation summoning banner i think it's better to wait for 10 times events uh, when there's good stuff going on, especially if there's good epics to go along with it. Because if you can stack up on a couple really strong epics for your account and get some awakenings easily for them, that can be more game changing than pulling a mediocre legendary during a two times anyway. Um, but we do have a summoning event happening as we're talking about. So who needs to summon? That's the real question. I think the true answer for who needs to summon this weekend is anyone that is going to go for two copies of Pyros. So he is our infernal lord that should be a nightmare lord. <laughs> um, 
And he does have a good kit. His Awakening 1 does give him 20% increased crit rate during Destruction Command skill, which is pretty cool, honestly. That's a lot of extra crit. And this does like last for like 15, it increases damage for 15 seconds. Uh, he does a mark that lasts for 10 seconds, la la la. Gains the focus fire as well. So with all this in mind, I think his Awakening 1 is pretty good. Um, Awakening 2 as well. Um, extra time on his skills. So he's got some pretty good Awakenings, especially if you really need him. And keep in mind that when it comes to using Pyros, he's better for your overall guild boss damage than Legendary Twin Fiend is if you do not have Twin Fiend Awaken 1. But when it comes to getting two copies of Pyros, that's not as easy as we would wish. Let's see, is, this, is the calendar here? I don't see it. I don't think it was. I was like, I could have sworn they'd put the calendar in the game, but I don't think they did. I looked at everything. Events should be in events. They didn't even put the actual proper fusion calendar in the game yet. But don't you worry, guys. I always put it in my Discord. Um, so let's see. Let me pull it up. All right, so my community Discord, which I always link in every video, I always post the fusion calendars. So if you want a quick access, if you can't find it, it's always in my Discord. So the reality with this event, right? Let me grab it here. Let's take a look. So you can get up to 125 fragments. You need 150 if you want to get two copies. So that means you need to get 25 extra fragments from winning some oracle trials but there's a lot of oracle trials so this might be the best time now than ever to try to get two copies of a hero during a fusion event because there's a lot of oracle trials this is a long event which is great honestly um and then winning first second or third place in any of these oracle trials will get you some fragments obviously more for winning first than second or third um but that's kind of how that works so if you really want to go for two copies of Pyros, which you can do, you can summon multiple copies, um, you have to do everything, everything, get every fragment, which will also mean Arrival of Heroes, you're going to need to summon. Spiritual Altar, you're going to need to summon. So that's going to be for those specific people that really want to get two copies. But if you're only trying to get one copy of Pyros, it's very easy. Look at all these events. Just from doing events alone, not even doing Oracle Trials, there's 65 out of 75. Uh, and so you can completely, you could completely skip everything related to summoning and still get a copy of Pyros, if that makes you feel any better. Or if you're a slacker in Arena like me and you just do the minimum to stay in the tier you want to stay in or get to the tier you want to stay in, you could skip the Duel of Ch Champions if you want as well. But keep in mind, these events do come back. So even if you don't want to get two copies of him now, you can, whatever fragments you do get that are beyond the 75 will stay in your bag. And when this event comes back in the future, if you don't already have a fully maxed out Pyros, well, you'll be able to uh, easily get another copy or two from a future event. The events will come back. It just might be a while. But hope that helps with the considerations here. So. Honestly, it's a hard debate overall for the summoning recommendations because people just like to pull us and two times or two times or two times. Some people have amazing luck during two times and it's RNG at the end of the day. Am I really unlucky during a two times and lucky during a 10 times? Probably not. It's probably just pure coincidence that like I summon during 10 times only and the game's been kind to me lately. Um... But yeah, I am going to summon probably, if I have a decent bit of legendary crystals, I am going to summon on the, on the two times this Friday here. Um, and I think most players will probably choose to summon because it's an event. You'll get some points, you'll get some rewards, and a lot of people do like to pull during two times. But I don't think you need to. I would honestly say we have a holiday coming up, guys. Um, this next week is a holiday. We have Black Friday. We have Thanksgiving for America. It's a holiday weekend. Holidays usually mean fun events, right? 
Well, and it's going to be a 10 times. What's the 10 times going to be? I don't know. It could be amazing. So personally, I'm in the boat of recommending people to save your summons for next week. Because we don't know what's going to come. At least save your blue summoning crystals, your rares, and save your diamonds for next week. And maybe just pull your legendaries in hopes to have better rates during a two times. That's what I would strongest recommend when it comes to the basic summoning events that are Friday through Sunday. I think that's through Sunday, right? Yeah. Friday through Sunday. That's my personal thoughts. Um, I am going to do a summoning party this Friday, as usual. Hopefully we get more people signing up. So if you want me to pull your shards this Friday, though, whether it be the whatever ones you decide, it's up to you. You pull every weekend, you pull every weekend. That's up to your. That's your choice. Have some fun. Um, and this game does let you get enough stuff to really be able to pull a little bit every weekend, honestly. Um, I have a sign up for summons in my Discord as well. If you join my Discord, I keep track of who I'm summoning for. So far, I only have Bambi and her free to play. Um, oh, and I got to add Anthony as well. And I will probably do my own summons live if we don't have too many. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I really... Um, I like to do the live summoning parties. They're a lot of fun. And of course, the following week, whatever the two times or whatever events are happening are going to be, uh, I will be doing a summoning party as well. So let me know if you guys want me to do your summons. So, all right, that is the topic of basic, typical summoning events. Now, what about this here, right? What about this here? So ancient summoning events are our lovely red crystals where you have higher chances to get lords and all the heroes from the Chaos Dominion faction. It looks like we're going to have boosted rates for Laia and Gon. So that's pretty cool. Um, why does Gon not have his video? He had a video online. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, so Gon is, of course, the legendary lord for the chaotic faction. And Laia is for northerners. Northerners are kind of meh overall as a faction, but she's wonderful. She's really great for Vor uh, guild boss. And just a really good healer and rage more like a rage regen you know kind of hero as well so either way my kind of rule of thumb when it comes to summoning for the legendary or sorry ancient summoning events is number one they're only once a month so you're going to be saving whether you choose to save or not but two i don't like this personally pull unless i have 10 or more because it's so disappointing to just pull a few and get like all rares and to be honest, I did a 10 pull and got all rares in like one epic, you know, that can still be very disappointing as well. But I personally like to pull when there are, when I have at least a one 10 pull plus some singles. So that's what I'll be doing. So I will be doing my summons and I will do a video for my ancient summons on Saturday or Sunday. Um, but I will not be going live for that. So pretty much I would say everyone there's no reason to necessarily wait to ancient, do your ancient summons. Anyone can summon for that. Plus, if you're doing your ancient summons, that's going to count toward the shard summoning events for Pyros with Spiritual Altar and the Awakening or the Arrival of Heroes Trials. So you might decide to pull a couple on the two times just to hit a certain reward milestone as well. So keep that in mind. As that, uh, you might accidentally be like, well... I guess I am doing this fusion event for the summons, even though I don't really need to. That's another thought. But yeah, I I always love these fusion events. And I love that this game lets you get one copy of the hero without having to literally do everything. That was so frustrating in games like Raid, or I think even Awakened Chaos Era had terrible fragment fusions. Um, where you have to do everything, including summon. Or you miss out on the on the hero. This makes it very easy to do one copy. So don't let that affect your summoning decision this weekend. Don't let the fusion affect your summoning decision unless you're going for two copies, or you're just at the ed you, if or if you do your ancient summons and you're just at the edge of a really nice reward, like a legendary crystal or something, and you just want to pull a few more to top that off. Okay, but don't let that affect your decision overall. Um, but I am personally, my plan as someone who's later game pushing harder content, trying to push harder content. Oh my God, I'm such a slacker. Um, I am going to pull my legendary crystals. I'm not going to pull my rare or my di uh, diamonds. 
unless I, like I said, need to top off for a reward because I am going to pull my Ancient Summons here. So I might do Ancient Summons, see what my events have given me for rewards. If the rewards are close to something, I might pull a few if I have to. But overall, Saturday is going to be my friend for the Ancient Summoning event. And I may or may not pull early for the Divines. We'll see. But thank you guys for watching. Hope this conversation helps you to decide what you're going to do for summons. Personally, I see holiday coming up. I think everyone should save at least a little bit.